they see me rolling. They hating, patrolling and trying to catch me riding dirty. Trying to catch me riding dirty. What's happening, YouTube? Servine one two one two. Anyways, this time we're on Charizard. I'm gonna try to try to do like three Pokemon a week. As I'm going down a list of you know Pokemon move sets, I'm trying to do three a week. So this time we're on Charizard because he comes next in the Pokedex after Venusaur as the next fully evolved Pokemon. So let's look at his moves and blah 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 and see what he can do. You can already see his stats right here. Because we're using Mega Charizard, so he's pretty much going to be like this the whole time. Just that special attack stat. Gosh, that junk is scary. Anyways. Item is obviously going to be Charizard. I, why? I mean, yeah, it won't work if you have X or just straight up leftovers. Ability is going to be the only one he can get. Drought. And I like I said before, I'm not making basic moves that you all know. We're doing something different. So this time, for his move, we're going to have Fire Blast, Earthquake, Solar Beam, and Tailwind. Tailwind is going to be on there because he, like, forces a ton of switches. It's pretty, I'm, like, I'm pretty sure if you go bring out something that's important to the enemy, they're going to want to swap it out. So he can go for the Tailwind right there because they'll probably go into, like, their faster electric type or something. You can go for Tailwind. Now it will patch up your speed stat because it's not beautiful. And because we're using Tailwind, you can also run it with the, um... A special attack boosting nature instead of a speed boosting nature, but I prefer the speed boosting just to make sure I outspeed every freaking thing out there. And you have the special attack that is already insane. And for the moves, we'll be running fire blast to just like, I don't know, just blast fire at them. Earthquake to shake the ground, you know, we're like 200 pounds and we can cause earthquakes, yep. Don't know how that works. And then we're going to be running solar beam for obvious reasons, all the grass types. Earthquake is to absolutely rape Heatran. Like, do people think they can switch Heatran in? No. No, uh-uh. So if you know they have a balloon and they have a Heatran, just go for Solar Beam right off the bat, because you know they're bringing it in. And then Heatran, the moment it comes in, it gets hit by Solar Beam, and might as well bend over, because the Earthquake is coming next. And that is a straight-up Oko on Heatran, unless he, like, maxes with physical defense. Anyways, on to the next one. This time we're using Mega Charizard Y, or X, I'm retarded. Blah, 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 blah. You already know stats, ability, the item. They are going to be the same if it's Mega. Tough Claws is actually a really cool ability, though. Gives you that 33% more damage. For his moves, we're going to be running Own Claws, Fire Blast, Dragon Rush, and either Roost or Earthquake. Let me just put that in right quick. It's up to you, though. I prefer Roost on it. And own claws is there, you know, boost your attack and your accuracy. So you can use lower accuracy moves like fire blast. We should do more special we should do more power. They'll be more powerful against like physically defensive walls. We gotta switch in on you and take your hits. So like Glasker can actually get Oko by this fire blast, which is amazing. It has like a eighty some percent chance of Okoing and after stealth rocks is guaranteed. And then we also have Dragon Rush. Another low ac lower accuracy move with a nice 20% chance to flinch. And after our own claws boost, that's going to be just doing insane damage, even without much attack investment. The Rooster Earthquake either heal you up or give you more coverage. Earthquake, there for Heatran or Rooster there to keep you, you know, give you more longevity. And then for the EV spread, we're going to run a max social attack, max speed, a naive nature, and four attack EVs. And then for the final Charizard, by far the hardest hitting one out of the bunch, standard Charizard. Now, don't, don't, don't click away from this video, i am show you why. This is a standard Charizard right here, it's holding choice specs, and the ability is going to be solar power. Now this thing is going to be running Fire Blast, Air Slash, Solar Beam, and Hidden Power Ground. And then we're going to run a Modest Nature. You can make it timid if you want, but Modest is just going to make it even more powerful. Now, believe it or not, this thing in the sun actually hits harder than the Mega Charizard Y in the sun. Yeah, I know. They have the same base speed stat, so you're not really gaining anything by using Charizard Y for speed. And it's this, a Fire Blast from this thing will actually 2-hit KO Blissey. And Chansey... If they switch in with max special defense investment, they still are 3-hit KO'd. 
And that, I'm talking about Evia Light, full special defense, and HP invested chance. You know, that thing is a three hit KO by this thing. A little fun fact that's, I did a damage calculation earlier to make sure. Charizard Y only does 441% to an Obama Snow in the Sun. And this right here in the Sun will do 501% to an Obama Snow in the Sun. So, yeah, that's a little. That's, that's a quite a bit more powerful. <laughs> This is just me. This is just gonna be trash and stuff. Like basically, when this comes out, something's dying, guaranteed. Especially with HP ground, like that heat trend isn't safe trying to switch into you because they're gonna just get raped by that. The air slash every other stab move, but mainly you're gonna be spamming fire blast. You can swap this for flamethrower if you want, but fire blast is just gonna be doing more damage. And then solar beam is there for all those water types that may try to switch in. But even then, if they try to switch in, they're probably gonna get two again by fire blast in this time. And yep, that's it. So I want to want to out.